thousands of requests after I did my skincare routine video for a video all about how and why I use honey as a face mask to treat my acne. Since I started doing this, my skin has really improved a lot and I know that from keeping a skin diary, which I recommend to all you girls or guys out there who are struggling with skin issues and you're trying different things to treat it, just keep a note of the changes over a weekly or monthly basis. Um, so yeah, from that and from comments from all of you just saying that my skin looks a lot better. And yeah, so if you want to see my face covered in sticky, gloopy goodness and you want to know more about why and the delicious name of everything sweet, I would do such a thing to myself fairly often actually. <laughs> Just keep on watching and I hope you enjoy. Bye! So delicious. <laughs> So yeah, seeing as I'm in like thesis hell right now, this is just gonna be a really casual video. I'm just sitting here, uh, Game of Thrones is on the background in case I'm watching reruns. Um, me and my brother just leave these on when we're studying. And I'm drinking some tea in my Disney mug. It's nearly gone, so I have to make more. But yeah, I thought I would just go ahead and film this because I get asked several times a day and I know it'll be really helpful for some of my viewers, so let's go! The idea of using honey on your skin isn't a new revolutionary idea at all. Um, there's actually stories of like, Queen Cleopatra from ancient Egypt adding this ingredient to her beauty baths because she knew about the benefits of honey and she wanted to reap all the cosmetic benefits. It can be used to treat wounds, burns, ulcers, boost your immune system. It's full of essential vitamins, minerals, antioxidants which are really good at fighting free radicals. It's also an incredibly strong antibiotic. Kills bacteria. It's good for allergies and it's even anti-inflammatory. The high sugar concentration in honey and its acidic acidic properties impair bacteria's ability to replicate and the anti-inflammatory kind of benefits can prevent the redness and swelling that can come with acne sometimes. Now all this said and before I continue, yes it will help your breakouts, it will soothe them, it will heal irritated skin but it won't actually make acne disappear and never come back. For that you need to treat the root cause of your acne and I've talked about all that in my skincare routine video and my seven steps to clear skin video which are all about you know tackling the, the roots of so the hormonal imbalance or if you have a food intolerance or not. So I'll link them in the info box for you to watch as well if you haven't seen them yet. Anyway, so I recommend using either Manuka honey, raw unprocessed honey or locally grown honey if you can. The one I have I love me face right now is uh, Manuka honey. I love Manuka because it's antibacterial, it's anti-irritating meaning it's good for sensitive skin like mine. It draws impurities out of the pores. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> it nurtures the skin, protects the skin, moisturizes the skin. I actually know of loads of YouTubers, even like Annie Jaffrey, I link her channel. She's a brilliant, brilliant girl to watch on here brilliant tips um, but she even washes her face with honey, honey now because she's kind of going a lot more down the natural route with products and food and things like that. Uh, you should check her out. And like widely respected beauty gurus online like Michelle Phan and Cassandra Banks and stuff have talked about this before so uh, in case you're looking at me thinking I'm cray cray, <laughs> I'm not crazy I swear. Is that gross? I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, honey is just such a natural, cheap, effective and widely available product that I just feel like a lot more people deserve to know about how amazing it is for your skin. So honey couldn't be any easier to use as a mask. Seriously, like you just start with a freshly cleansed face, no moisturizer or anything. I'm actually testing out a couple of dupes for the Clarisonic at the moment because I know that all the girls on YouTube use the Clarisonic but it's so expensive, like it's out of the price range for so many of you and even for me, like I'm on a student budget myself so I'm trying out some cheaper alternatives and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have an upcoming video about that, but yeah, I use that to clean my face at the moment. And then what I do is I keep a separate jar of honey to the one that I eat in the bathroom and I just dip my hand in and take out a big lump of it and I just put it all over my face. Like it's not, there's no step-by-step -step instructions for this. That is how easy this is and literally anybody can do it. And I'll leave it for like, few minutes to sit on my skin, do its magic, but some days like I just leave it all day, like for hours because, well, Sometimes I forget to wash it off, but it's just, I don't know, there's no time limit. Like, I just kind of leave it as long as I want to, and especially if I want, if my face is feeling a bit dry, I'll leave it on for a lot longer, because honey is so moisturising. I'm licking it off my upper lip, because <laughs> the goodness, it's so good! 
Like it's feckin' delicious. If you have acne, try to eat a teaspoon of honey a day as well. You can put it with banana. I actually make these little banana sandwiches sometimes. Um, I'll put a little clip in here of it because I know lots of you will love the taste of this as well. It's just banana, you slice it down the middle and then you put a little bit of almond butter spread or peanut butter if you want and then honey on top as well and close that and it's like a little sandwich and it's really really good. It's an easy way to eat it like when you add it with a nut butter, it kind of has the consistency of caramel. It's amazing. So good for those PMS cravings and stuff. But uh, yeah, you can eat it with like muffins, toast, pancakes, in cocoa, in salad dressing. You can literally use it in so many different ways. One of my favourite ways is to put it in with some green tea, which is also great for acne. And it takes away like the bitterness in the green tea, which I don't really like. And I know a lot of you probably don't like it either. That's probably why you don't drink green tea. And you drink coffee because it's so good. But yeah, a teaspoon into some tea uh, really makes it a lot nicer. But yeah, if you do that consistently, I'm telling you now, you will see a difference in your skin. Just try it and let me know how you get on with it and tweet me some pictures with you with honey all over your face because a few of you already have. I just think it's so funny. <laughs> like look at the state of me. <laughs> it's not a great thing to do when the boyfriend's over. Unfortunately. If you have any more questions about honey and using honey as a mask or if you have any more feedback for me please leave a comment. Um, I love reading all your comments and your emails and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way. Yeah, uh, if you want more videos about like natural beauty products and stuff like lemon, apple cider vinegar, all those kind of things, just let me know. Be very happy to make them. So I'll talk to you again soon guys, okay? Bye!